guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have a new and interesting things for you. So the first thing I want to talk to you about are my little earrings here. I've worn these in a couple of videos, um, so you may have seen them before. These are from a company called Ana Luisa and it is a fine jewelry sort of a place. They have earrings and necklaces and rings and all sorts of things and they are carbon neutral, which I think is really cool. I love supporting companies that are trying to you know, be good about that sort of thing and be sustainable. So I appreciate that. Plus just the quality of these is really, really nice. So they did send these to me. And since most of my jewelry tends to be on the cheaper side, I was excited to try these out and see if it really does make a difference. And uh, it does, it makes a difference. <laughs> and especially this piercing up here in my cartilage, that one does tend to be rather sensitive. So when they sent me these earrings and I picked these out off of their website, this one is, Elios, Elios, something like that. And these are $49 for the set. You'd get two, not just one, even though I'm only wearing one of them. They use 100% recycled sterling silver, and these ones are gold-plated silver. And then the little jewel in there is cubic zirconia. And I have had this in my ear since I got it a few weeks ago and I've been sleeping with it. I have not taken it off and I have had zero issues. I am so excited to be able to have something in there that just doesn't bug my ear. I mean, I went through, I was trying to like wear one 24 seven of a different brand and was having major issues. So this one is just sitting pretty. I love the way it looks. It's just tiny and it has this cute little star shaped gem on it, which is really pretty. And you can wear them on your lobes. My lobes, I guess, are kind of big <laughs> because when I put them on here I was like oh that just looks like it's squished or something but I really like it up here so if you have tiny little lobes they are quite little this is the one not in my ear so you can see it's just really tiny and cute and the clasp on this is just one of those you know where it comes undone and then you kind of push it down to connect like that and then these ones my little love earrings how cute are these so these are the kind that have a part on the back of it let me take this off so you can actually see the parts of it so the main part is just a pearl it's a freshwater pearl pearls are my birthstone and it has three different holes up here making it adjustable so if you do have longer earlobes you can put it on a different setting or if you have shorter earlobes or whatever and it says love and see how um like on the e it has a shorter one and on the l it's longer both sides are the same but they have opposite like on the other ear the e is long and the l is short so like today when i was putting it on i was trying to decide okay wait do I like the long L on this side or on this side? So I like the long L on, on my left side. They're a little bit tricky to put on, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So those are the loved ones. And then the third pair that I have, more pearls because I love pearls. And these ones have a little chain on them. The chain is actually attached to the backing. So A, you're never gonna lose your back, which is really nice. And I just love the detail of that, this little dangly chain on a pearl, you know? It takes something very classic and makes it modern and unique. And they all came on these little cardboard things in these cute little pouches, little like velvety pouches, which I thought was really cute. And it just feels very classy. So the pearl ones with the chain, these are called Joanne. These ones are $59 and it's 14 karat gold plated on brass with a titanium post. And the love earrings are 14 karat gold plating on brass with cubic zirconia and freshwater pearl. So I do have um, a referral link and probably a discount code. So make sure you check out the description box for all of that information. These are from a company called the Butters Hygienics Company. And it is, and they say on their thing, black and gay AF 365. And their whole line is very cheeky. Like this one is called motherfucking Mediterranean fig. That is the scent. So you get that sort of just cheeky ballsy kind of an attitude from the whole company and the name of the products. They are all 100% vegan. 100% bullshit free, they say. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Made at home with love and expertise. 100% black queer owned company. Evidently they are known for their lube and sexual health stuff, but I just have some body butters here. They also have 
bath bombs and face stuff and they have some like gift sets things like you can get some of the body butters in a gift set which I thought was really cool they had like a fall themed one so this one is champagne problems and it says on here a powerful yet simple blend made to nourish all your body's various tissues everything you need at amounts that actually work and nothing you don't Use me like a body lotion or moisturizer. Works great from hair to toe. After a shower, as a hand lotion, deep conditioner, foot cream, or any other external moisture need. And I've used these for several days now, and I love them. They are intensely moisturizing. They have fantastic smells. A little bit goes a very long way. I kind of overdid it a little bit. Um, I think yesterday or the day before I got out of the shower and, you know, just slathered my whole body. And Colin touched my arm and he's like, ah, <laughs> I know, I got a little much on there. But I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. It works so well. It does leave that sort of oiliness on you, but if you have intensely dry skin, this is going to be amazing. It does soak in and hydrate and all of that good stuff. Sometimes I'll use um, like coconut oil based moisturizers and they tend to just sit on top of my skin and they don't really ever moisturize my skin if that makes sense whereas this i felt really was actually soaking in and like touching my arm it feels really soft today i love that they have fantastic ingredients in them so i, I think these are great and again all of the information will be in the description box if you guys want to check it out another earth friendly sort of an item these i saw an ad for them and i was like you know what i'm gonna try those these are true earth laundry detergent eco strips so i haven't used the fresh linen ones i can smell them though and it is a very strong scent um, but these ones are the fragrance free and they weren't that expensive if I recall correctly and you get 32 of these sheets and they say for a normal sized load you just need one sheet and you can tear it in half and just throw this either in your machine or if you have like one of the front loader ones with the thing that you pull out to put the soap in just put this in the soap dish you know if it's a small load just tear this in half if it's a big load you can add some more i've been using these and i gotta say they work great and i love that this is all it is this is 32 loads right here and i can kind of you know adjust these as needed it takes up so much less space and it's not a big giant plastic thing you know it's just this little cardboard pouch and I just love that idea. So I'm really happy with these. I will definitely continue to use these. I think they're great. They take up so much less space in my laundry room. I feel like it's good for the earth and they did a good job of cleaning my clothes and this one smells really strong. So, you know, if you like that scented laundry kind of a thing, but they also have the scent free if you don't. This mangled little thing <laughs> is a chew necklace. I got this for Jensen because he's my anxiety child. You know, he's always been like a nail biter and when he was younger, he twisted his hair so much that he got a bald spot. He ate our remote, <laughs> our TV remote, just has little little bite marks all around the edges. He like scraped all the plastic coating off of it. <laughs> so I looked it up and I found this for him and it's a chew necklace. It's like a, a hard but bendable rubber and they make it out of like food grade type material because let's face it this is going in his mouth and you can see he's eaten these these ones were meant to look like dog tags he's about halfway through each of these it looks like a little hamster got to them and it's something that he can wear and then when he's in class sitting on a zoom call or whatever you know he can just munch on this instead of eating his pencils and our TV remote but especially with online school right now i just felt like it was getting a little intense so this has definitely helped also it just kind of makes him more aware of what he's doing and he doesn't mean to eat the remote he just you know it's like he's constantly chewing on his shirt or something so this has been really great there's a bunch of different companies that make these sorts of things these are several weeks old so you know i mean they've lasted a little while but i'm gonna try some tougher ones next time okay i did a review on veo this little personal blender thing and they have these pod smoothies these are biodegradable by the way unlike normal coffee k-cups so i thought that i would include these because i have three new flavors that i haven't tried before so these ones are the collagen glow with verisol these ones are watermelon fresca flavored they um they taste like vitamins but after you know the first couple i'm like okay yeah it's not bad i don't mind that at all and it's supposed to make me pretty so <laughs> 
<laughs> so I've been drinking these ones and I do like them. These ones get really frothy. This one is the whey coffee, so it's supposed to be like an iced coffee with protein. It is loaded with stevia and I do not like this one. It's just overly sweet and then you get that awful aftertaste and uh, I just wish that they would make this without the sweetener, you know? Like, I don't feel like it needs it. Coffee's fine on its own. I can add my own sweetener if I really need it, but the stevia just kills it for me. This one is the Tropical Blend, and I love this one. This one has a thicker consistency than a lot of the other ones, and it's very tropical, fruity tasting. It's just, I really loved this one. I was like, oh yeah, that's nice. That tastes like a vacation. I wanna add some rum to it. <laughs> I'm not going to. Oh, look at me like that. So I've been loving my Veo. I think it's really fun. The pods can get expensive, especially the collagen one, but I do like them and I feel like I'm getting lots of nutritional benefits, not just fruits, but you know, other vitamins and minerals as well. In fact, they just came out with this new thing where it's tailored to you. I mean, to the fact, to the point where they like take blood tests and stuff and you send in all of your information and then they tailor a vitamin packed pod specific to you for whatever your body needs extra of or whatever, which I thought was really amazing. It's a pretty expensive as a startup thing, but then, you know, you can reorder the pods. And I just thought that that was really cool and kind of an intense but amazing thing that they're doing. So anyway, if, you're inter if you are interested in that, I thought that was kind of neat. More drinkable nutrition stuff. This is Cacao Bliss. This is a superfood elixir blend. So it is made with ceremonial grade cacao, but it's also blended with turmeric, MCT, lucuma, and four superfoods. It is supposed to support mental focus, boost your energy, and reduce cravings. So again, this is like $60 for this bag, but you can get, you know, plenty of uses out of this. It says it has 30 servings in it. So it has all kinds of good things in this. And it came with this little booklet, which has a ton of different guilt-free chocolate recipes from like brownies and muffins and donuts and all of these fabulous looking things that I definitely want to try. These look amazing. So far the only thing that I've actually made is just like a cup of hot chocolate and I used hot water and almond milk and then frothed it up with my little zoom zoom frothy guy. It was so good. It just tasted rich and delicious and I love that it could possibly be helping with all of these wonderful things that it claims. It definitely curbed my sweet tooth cravings for sure. I'm liking this so far. I think it's really awesome. I love drinks, obviously. I'm like always drinking weird things. In fact, <laughs> speaking of drinks, let's go to this guy. This is the Mr. Stack's pumpkin spice liqueur. So I was going to buy the Bailey's pumpkin spice cream liqueur, but then I saw this one for like $8.99 and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that one instead of the $25 Bailey's. And it's not bad, it's not bad. I would have to do, in fact, I almost feel like doing a taste test comparison, you know, for you guys. Uh, of the Baileys versus this. And I know like a couple other brands will make pumpkin spice um, liqueurs like this, just because this one doesn't feel super creamy. It is very sweet, but when I put it in my coffee, I feel like I also had to add a little bit of creamer. Like it's just, you know, on its own, it's freaking delicious. And it looks creamy. Here, I'm, I'll sh I'm gonna show you. See? It's creamy looking, you know? It does almost look a little bit thin. I just feel like it, I wish it was a little creamier, but it is really, really good. And it's totally the kind of thing that I could just drink on its own, you know, throw some ice cubes in there and have a day, or throw it in my coffee, or make cocktails with it. And it was only $8.99, which I thought was awesome. So I don't know, have you guys tried the Bailey's version? Or I think Mother's makes one. I don't know. How you guys feeling about this? I don't know, what do you guys think? Have you tried any of these pumpkin spice liqueurs? Okay, in my last empties, I talked about my toothbrush dying and then I bought a new one and I wasn't that big a fan of it. So I sent it back and I got this one. This one is from Philips, it is pink and I like this one a lot better. I don't know that I like it more than my Mornwell. I'm telling you, my $30 Mornwell was awesome. Uh, but this one is pink, first of all. It's Philips, which is a known 
well-respected brand. Um, it has these heads that has like the longer bit on the top, which is supposed to be good for like getting in between your molars and, and on the back of your teeth. And I do like it. It has a sensor so that if you press too hard, it, like a red light pops up, but I can't really see it while I'm brushing my teeth unless I'm looking in the mirror. And this might be weird, but I don't look in the mirror when I'm washing, when I'm brushing my teeth because I sit on the toilet so that my cats can sit on my lap. I know, that's, that's a little bit weird, whatever. Anyway, uh, it does have a sensor. It doesn't have any other settings. It's like on or off. There's no changing it, which I don't care. You know, I never changed it before anyway. So, you know, so far so good. I like it. This one was the like $49 one as opposed to the $149 ones. There's like a huge jump between models. This one is the 4100 Protective Clean. The next one up, I'm telling you, is like $100 more expensive. And I was just like, nope, I'm not doing that. We'll try this one. And this one, so far, so good. This little contraption is for cat food because I guess, you know, when you put cat food in their bowls on the floor and they bend over, um, sometimes they barf back up and one of my cats does barf a lot and occasionally barfs his food right back into his food bowl which is totally disgusting so Colin actually found this and it's supposed to help them so you just put their food in here you know and it's kind of a stand that tilts it forward and raises it up a bit so that you know they don't have to bend their heads quite so forward um, and so far he's only barfed once. But overall, I think it's working really well and the cats seem to like it, which is nice. The actual bowls just pop out and then you can clean these and then smush them back in. You know, it's fairly simplistic, but I like it, you know, and it's cute. The bowls have the little kitty ear shapes on them. This is my new microphone. This is for doing voiceovers. Colin bought this for me because I said that I wanted to try doing audiobooks, like narrating audiobooks. I thought that would be fun to do. I do have an acting background, and uh, since I'm not acting anymore, I thought this could be fun. You know, I always read books to my kids and stuff, and I like doing the voices, and I listen to so many audiobooks that I thought, you know, hey, I would like to try that. I think that would be a fun thing for me. So he did some research and found this Blue Yeti microphone. And then this actually is a separate piece that we bought. This is supposed to be for your plosives. So you don't sound all p -p -p when you're recording. And this microphone is supposed to be really good for like podcasts or live streaming, doing voiceovers, etc. So I've used it a couple of times. I haven't recorded any audiobooks or anything, but I have recorded some Russian accent lessons. <laughs> Even though I don't do them very often, if I ever need to do a voiceover for one of my YouTube videos, I can use this. And it's just such a nice microphone. I love it. I'm super excited about this. It's pretty heavy duty. It comes on this nice stand and this kind of tilts back and forth, but it is supposed to sit straight up and down and it has different settings. So if you're talking on one side or if you have two people or a room, if you want more of an ambient sound. So it has different settings for all sorts of things. And then you can set the levels on it so that it's not too hot and you're getting all, you know, fuzzy reverb or it's probably not called reverb. Anyway, I'm loving this. I think it's awesome. I'm very excited about it. Speaking of audiobooks, I am on the third book of the Witcher series, and I've been loving this series. Oh, and I have some more jewelry. This is from a company called Boutique Lovin. You can get these on Amazon. And they sent me this chain bracelet. So it's just, you know, a nice little thin gold chain link. Okay, I had a necklace. I must have put the necklace somewhere else, but the necklace basically just matches this and hangs about right there. Honestly, it's not the quality of these. I, it's just not my style, so I haven't really been wearing these. I had this on my wrist for a while, but I don't know. It's just not really my thing. And then they sent me these earrings. Again, just not my style. They're really fat hoops, and I put them on, and I was like, no, that doesn't look like me at all. But they're cute and they're inexpensive and, you know, if this is your style, they seem lovely. So I will put all of the information for these in the description box as well. Honestly, I think I might just save these and give them as a gift to somebody because they're lovely. They're just, I don't know why, I just put them on and I was like, nope, that's not me. 
my Ana Luisa ones I've actually picked out for myself. So these are definitely my style and I love them. They're so cute. So all of the information will be in the description box. If you, there's anything that you are interested or want to check out, all of the information will be there. Uh, let me know about the pumpkin spice liqueurs you guys have been drinking. I hope you enjoyed this video of a bunch of random stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!